Today on The Game Chamber, we're building a world. Hello and welcome to The Game Chamber. Something a little different today, we are doing a, uh, a map in Incarnate. Incarnate is an awesome program that lets you build some really cool looking maps that you can use in your adventure games, your tabletop RPGs, or any narrative really, you know. Uh, there are authors who use it for their fantasy books and stuff as well. Uh, it's a really great piece of software. You can do battle maps, you can do uh, big world maps or more sort of smaller region maps, or even maps of cities or towns uh, and they also have this sort of parchment style that we're using here to create some sort of oldie worldy hand-drawn maps that uh, really work well for something like uh, Dungeons and Dragons. The area we're building today is the Northern Stillwilds and that is the starting area for adventurers who are setting out on their campaign in Teldramere. So Teldramere is uh, something that we've been working on for quite a while at the Game Chamber and we're going to be launching it officially very soon uh, but basically it is a uh, living breathing world where you can come and adventure with uh, either friends or complete strangers whenever you wish. It's based on Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition but it's going to be a, um, a, an ongoing campaign that people can come in play as they wish they can treat each night as sort of like a one shot like a one-off night but their characters are going to be able to continue in the world and you can come and play basically whenever you like one of the biggest problems with Dungeons and Dragons and any sort of tabletop RPG is scheduling making sure you've got everyone sat down at a table in one go and uh, this is hopefully going to be a great way of relieving that issue you can come down and play with friends or if you just want to come down on your own we're going to be able to find you a great group to enjoy some of the world. The big thing about Teldramere is that it's ever-changing and it is very much uncharted. So apart from this area, the rest of the world is going to be up to the players to discover. Uh, but this first area is going to be mapped out, so you've got a bit of an idea of where you're starting from, uh, and that's going to be my job to uh, sort of make these maps. It's been written, uh, all the campaigns have been written by a fantastic author, and uh, they're going to be DM'd by pro uh, dungeon masters as well. It's really exciting, can't wait to be able to share more information about it with you all. Uh, but for now we're working on this map so uh, I'm trying to uh, get a good mix of sort of fantasy and realism as well. Um, a few things that uh, happen in real life that I always try and bring across into my maps. Uh, the main one being that rivers very rarely split. Uh, rivers join very often, but they very rarely split. We have one split here, uh, which breaks uh, the two the the river there into two as it heads into the sea, uh, just to gives us that nice uh, island that we can do something cool on. So you know, a little bit of a little bit of a stretch sometimes is okay. Um, also with many Mountain ranges very often you don't find mountains uh, singularly it very rarely happens I'm looking at you Mount Doom from Lord of the Rings uh, but um, <laughs> normally mountains are very often parts of ranges and more often than not those ranges go north to south as well there are examples of them not doing that but for the most part ranges uh, go down uh, due to tectonics or something like that I don't know so we started off with some big mountains there and then some smaller ones and then they go into tiny ones and then eventually hills uh, so that you get that really sort of natural gradient down to the ground. Uh, next up then I'm using some cliff faces to give a little bit of depth to some of the areas around the rivers. Um, you can see here the river sort of was carved into the ground as it sort of made its way down from the mountain and onto more of the, the plains area. Um, so again, even on this map, there are going to be uncharted areas. We have a few sort of, uh, you know, home-based style cities, a few sort of cities to get you started in places you can go and visit that we uh, that are known about uh, but then even on this map there are going to be some areas that are uh, unknown and un uh, uh, categorized including this sort of uh, large crater area here um, so I can't really tell you much more about this unfortunately at the moment it's uh, <laughs> other than it looks like this on the map <laughs> uh, there's not much else to say unfortunately um, you'll see that with the uh, with the brush the brushes there with the paint I've sort of painted out where I wanted the mountains to go using a sort of dark grey uh, and then I've painted out some space for the forests as well that we're going to be adding in later on. Uh, so here we go here's the named places we can place down first of all we have Valafall uh, that is the main hub for uh, adventurers first starting out in Teldramere it's a large bustling city with lots of things going on uh, up on the uh, the top there in the slight cove area there's um, uh, there's southern uh, southern reach harbour 
uh, which is going to be a harbour that we're going to be able to use to get across the sea uh, to see what we can find over there. Uh, and then I've also placed down some ruins there further down. That's Hillslag, uh, which is a ruined city that, uh, that has very much not very, uh, really been explored. So there's going to be lots of interesting things over there. And then finally, just in the in the forest there, there's a there's the the um, uh, the the inn there that you can stop by uh, if you've made your way into the forest or the mountains. So with the forest, I always do a really thick uh, line at the middle of the forest and then we're going to slow down the density of the trees, just sort of thin them out a little bit as they come to the edge and um, even a little bit more and then just spread them out. And again, it just keeps that sort of slight level of naturalistic uh, stuff going on. Uh, another thing that you can do that really make your maps look realistic is to keep your foliage on one side of the mountain ranges. Mountain ranges very often have this thing that they call like the rain shadow, uh, where the uh, the bad weather sort of hits the mountains and stops and doesn't make it across them a lot of the time. So you'll usually find that one side of a mountain range is much more lush and, uh, and forested than the other side. So uh, again, you know, these are very often fantasy worlds. You can pretty much do whatever you like as long as there's a narrative reason for them. But if you want to try and get a little bit of realism in there so that they sort of, uh, they, they just to the natural eye, they look a little bit more like genuine maps. Those are the sort of things you can keep in mind. So here I'm just using some uh, texture painting uh, to bring out some grass texture in the in the, the plains areas and the uh, water texture in the seas there. I don't think you can really see them very well on this screen here, but this is a very large map. This is sort of uh, like a 4K resolution once it's all finished. Uh, we're just building it in a lower resolution here because um, the software does as best as it can, but it does start getting a little... Uh, uh, slow, <laughs> uh, especially when you place those trees down. That's why I always leave the forests to one of the last major things that I do, uh, because it does start to make the place uh, crawl a little bit <laughs> uh, once you've got them in. So here we're adding a uh, a few name tags. Like I say, a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff here in um, in the Northern Still Wilds is is uncharted. So apart from the few settlements and a few other little bit of uh, little places, uh, a lot of this is going to be down to you as the adventurer to to head out and chart for the first time. Uh, so here we've just got the um, uh, the sheltered nest, uh, Valafall and uh, Southreach Harbour, and then a little lower down we've got Hill Slag there as well. Uh, the only other things we name are the uh, the forest just to the north of Valafall there on the island. Uh, that's going to be known as the the, the safe woods, and then also um, the uh, the river, the main river that co sort of comes down past Hill Slag, uh, past Valafall and into the sea, uh, is named as the uh, the White Pedal River. Uh, so we're going to put uh, labels on both of those as well. When naming areas on maps, I find that um, uh, larger white font uh, that sort of spread across the area uh, usually looks um, looks a lot better, which I think is a good way of doing it, as opposed to using the uh, the the, ta the tabs or the little sort of squares that I've used for the other places. I always find that the uh, the white font there is a, a nice way of doing a larger areas such as rivers or uh, woods or mountain ranges. Uh, things like that. Here, Hill Slag is causing me a little bit of bother fitting the uh, the name of the river on there, so I'm just shuffling up a little bit. Again, you can kind of take a little bit of artistic license with some of these things as far as to how physically far away they are from each other, uh, but you're probably talking a day's travel there between Valafall and Hill Slag. Um, and obviously, you know, that travel can be longer if it needs to be uh, by putting some things in the way <laughs> uh, you know there's lots of things you can do if you're looking at making this kind of map the last thing I'm going to do here then is put a couple of uh, well-trodden routes in using these dotted lines so uh, Valafall up to the harbour is you know quite a common route through the uh, through the woods there and uh, along the beach uh, up to the harbour and then also Valafall to Hill Slag is not a particularly common route but it does give the adventurers the idea that they're going to be able to make their way over there if they wish uh, so there you go. I think it's turned out really well. Like I say, I'm really excited to share more of Taldromir with you in the future. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video because I'm making quite a few maps for this. And uh, if it's something that you are interested in, I would love to share some more of them with you. Uh, obviously, uh, keeping any spoilers hidden as best as I can. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help. And keep it here for all your tabletop goodness with a subscribe at the Game Chamber. Yeah.